Side Westminster. Uh, Dan, I suspect there'll be a lot of people scratching their heads thinking, why on earth did they make that announcement? Yeah, indeed, just to announce that, frankly, they hadn't made a decision. Uh, the ERG there, Mark Francois, saying that uh, we believe we have one and potentially two very strong candidates, which was a slightly odd use of the words, uh, but they were uh, unable to unite behind any one of them. However, interestingly, you could see kind of the two issues at play there, couldn't you, listening to those MPs. Uh, one of them is that they wanted whoever was uh, going to take over to take a very robust uh, position on this Parliament Act when it comes to the Northern Ireland Protocol. It seems that Rishi Sunak has somewhat given uh, that assurance. But at the same time, some of them clearly wanted this to go forward uh, to the members uh, so that they would get to decide, which in theory obviously would mean uh, not supporting Rishi Sunak because he is so far ahead and looks like he may well win through a coronation later on uh, today. So where are we at now at what? 12.15, an hour and 45 minutes to go to that two o'clock deadline. Well, in the last couple of minutes, Penny Morden's team has insisted uh, that they are at around 90 MPs. They're in the kind of landing zone of getting out over that 100 uh, figure, uh, which would obviously mean that she would get through to that membership ballot, which is due to be held uh, on Friday, with the announcement on Friday. Uh, however... When you look at the actual declared numbers of MPs that have come out, it is a long, long, long way away from that mark. We're at around the 30 figure. So who are these 60-odd MPs who've not publicly declared for Penny Morden? Where are they? Why are they not uh, declaring? And also, rather significantly, George Freeman, who's been one of Penny Morden's key backers, actually not just in this campaign but the one previously as well, has essentially come out to back Rishi Sunak and we believe is lobbying Penny Morden to, to cave in, to concede that she is not going uh, to win this. It is a big question for the Conservative Party now about whether they do want to fundamentally get this sorted uh, today or whether they do want it to drag on all week and go to a membership vote that could be in itself quite divisive uh, given the different dynamics at play here and there is pressure I think on Betty Borden to concede not least of all because we've got that big fiscal statement to be made this time next week and that will involve conversations with cabinet ministers that will have to be signed off by the prime minister and it is clearly so fundamentally important that the more preparation time Jeremy Hunt who will almost certainly say as Chancellor has the more confident maybe the markets are that it will be able to uh, hold together and get those th measures through parliaments. Smoke and mirrors when it comes to Penny Mordant's numbers. What is your instinct? Because this is effectively the most important question right now. Will Penny Mordant get the numbers yeah. to prevent a Rishi Sunak coronation? What's your instinct? Well, I mean, frankly, at the moment, I, I just don't see how that's possible. As I say, I, I, there's only, I think, less now than 100 or fewer than 100 Conservative MPs who have to publicly declare where they're going to. You would think a large section of those would probably still go for Rishi Sunak. So where is the 70 MPs that, frankly, she needs to go for the line? Where are they? Why are they not publicly uh, declaring? Is this an attempt by Penny Morden to kind of, you know, pile on the pressure, maybe to get a good job in Cabinet, or to talk about maybe whether she becomes Foreign Secretary or uh, not? And I think even if she does get to 100, Gloria, Rishi Sunak is almost certainly going to be over 200 MPs uh, backing him. It's going to be a two-to-one uh, situation. If there's anything we find on, under Liz Truss's premiership is that you essentially need MPs backing. It's great to have the members, but we live in a parliamentary democracy. Laws get passed not by members of the Conservative Party, but by MPs. Rishi Sunak will be clearly able to demonstrate that he has got the large majority of Conservative MPs. So even, I think, if we get to 2pm, even if Penny Borden wants to demonstrate that she can get over that line, I still think the pressure on her will be too great inside the party to carry on to drag this out until Wednesday. So my instinct is, whether she concedes just before 2pm or a bit later on this afternoon, I just cannot see this going on until Friday. Now, sources inside the Penny Morden camp say they are determined to try and take this to the membership. They think it's what the party needs. They think it's the democratic way forward. But I, I just cannot see it at myself. I think the bigger question is whether Rishi Sunak will become... Prime Minister, he'll become Conservative leader, of course, uh, potentially later on today. Whether he becomes Prime Minister, I think, actually really depends on the movements of the King. Uh, we do believe he may well be 
in London later on this evening, uh, but it's not clear whether he would have that meeting with Rishi Sunak this evening or indeed tomorrow morning.